All right, so for this tutorial, um, we are going to begin our project that is called Lichtenstein Inspired Comics in Photoshop. Um, so for part one, what we're going to do is begin to create a halftone shading. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is open up your image in Photoshop by doing a file open. Get that photo opened in there. Um, and then we need to duplicate that photo layer. So once you get it opened, you're going to see this background layer with a padlock around it. Uh, what we're going to need to do is single click that layer, drag it down to your new layer button, and let go. That's going to duplicate that layer. Once you've duplicated the layer, go ahead and name that layer dots, D-O-T-S, and hit enter. And then I want you to create another new empty layer just by single clicking that new layer button. Um, and you should have an empty layer and two identical layers of your photo. So in my case, it's a photo of Audrey Hepburn because she's fantastic. Um, and now what I would like you to do is fill layer one or this empty layer with any kind of color you want to use for your background. In my case, I'm going to fill it with a color blue. Um, so I'm going to use my paint bucket, choose my color blue, and just fill that layer with blue. Okay. Now if you notice, all of my layers are showing right now because we get to see the little eyes, but I can't see my pictures because my blue layer is above my other layers. So what I would like you to do is go ahead and move that colored layer, whether it's yellow, red, whatever, between your two photos. So it should be below your dots layer and above your background layer. And then go ahead and name that layer whatever the color is that you filled it. In my case, it's blue. All right, so now what we're going to do is get rid of all of the background in your dots layer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so to do that, you can use a, a couple different methods. You can use your pen tool, you could use your magic wand tool, you could use your quick selection tools. Um, for me, I'm going to use my quick selection tools because it's just a little easier to get a whole bunch of stuff selected all at once. I'm going to use my quick selection tool. And then if you notice, a couple parts of my figure's body was also selected, so I'm just going to use uh, the other selection tool here, the subtract from selection tool, and subtract from the selection around Audrey Hepburn, just so I can, you know, get her shoulders back and that part of the hair that we missed out on. That I accidentally selected parts of her ears here. All right, so now that we have that selected, we're going to open our paths palette and create a work path uh, for Audrey. So to do that, oops, click the wrong button. So to do that, we are going to do a uh, open your paths palette, and to do that, you go to the window drop-down menu and make sure that there is a check mark next to the word paths. Choose the button that is called load path as a selection at the bottom here. And then you should see work path right here. So load path as a selection. Then what we're going to do is invert your selection. Now that you only want to invert your selection if you have her face selected. In my case, I've selected the background so I don't need to do this step. But if you have selected your figure, then you need to invert your selection. So you want to do select inverse if you need to. Um, then, here's the best part, you get to hit the delete key or the backspace key and it gets rid of all of the background for you. Now, once you've deleted the background, I want you to do a control D to get rid of those dancing ants. And then our next step is to desaturate or turn your photo black and white. So we're taking all of the color out of it. So we're desaturating it by doing control shift U. So control shift and the letter U. Hold all of those keys down at the same time, hit them all together, and it automatically takes all the color out for you. While still working on the dots layer, adjust the threshold to have a lot of contrast. And you do that by going to the image drop down menu, adjustments, and then you want to find threshold. 
you should get this dialog box up here. Now she looks like she's been rubbed with a bunch of charcoal so we're going to pull it over to the right a little bit to bring out some more white but without losing a lot of detail in her face. So I'm going to pull it so that way I have just enough information to have some detail um, in her face. All right. Now, this may be different for all of you. So my threshold is 59. Some of you may have a threshold of 122 or something like that. Um, it depends on how many darks and lights are in your original image. So it all depends on the project that you're, you're working on at the moment. Okay. Once you get it to a place you like, click the OK button. Now, to prevent pixelation, I want you to apply a Gaussian blur and it just adds a little fuzziness, a little softness to your to your layer. So while we're still working on the dots layer, we're going to use the filter drop down menu, choose blur, and then choose Gaussian blur, G A U S S I A N. We're going to pull that over a little bit. And we are going to just make our Gaussian blur no larger than one pixel. Now some of you may even want this to be 0.5 pixels, uh, so it's not as blurry. I'm actually going to change mine to 0.5, so it's just a little hint, okay? Once you get that done and you like the way it looks, click OK. You don't want to make it any larger than one pixel, otherwise it'll be really super blurry and it, it'll be like you're wearing someone else's glasses. So right now what I would like you to do is in the layers palette, right click on the dots layer. So right click the dots layer and select duplicate layer. All right. Now what we're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is change the document pull down menu and choose new. and then name your document dots. So we're gonna keep it dots. We're gonna name our document dots and then click okay. And what that does is it opens up a new tab with just that layer in it. So it's an easy way to do it without having to copy and paste and go through all of that, okay? Um, so once you've done that, I want you to do a file save on your original file, on the original project file that has your three layers in it. So do a control S um, and then move on to the next tutorial.